Oh! Ah! All right, so I hope you guys had a very happy holiday season and got just what you asked for. I got spoiled, which is part of this video, some things I got for Christmas. And I wish you guys a happy new year. It looks like I might get one more ride in for the year ends. That being said, we're gonna test out some new things we're gonna throw on the Ripley. Well, first off, got some sick new riding gloves, some new Fox bright red gloves there. Um, I did wanna get the Fox red jersey. I think it's kind of important to be like, kind of stand out-ish a little bit on the trails so you can be seen. So yeah, I think red's a really poppy color and that people will see you coming, hopefully. I don't know, but red's cool, so I like it. And uh, as you guys may know, if you guys have followed me for a little while, you know that the I traded this, um, I traded the Ripmo for this. I bought a brand new Ripmo, traded it for the Ripley, and the Ripmo was black, red, and silver themed going on. So I had put this on my wish list for red P and W bars. Don't really go with this bike, but I think they're gonna be just fine. So we're gonna throw these bars on. I haven't tried a lot of different bars. So the only bars I've ever tried are the P and W bars and I love them. So I just stick with them. So yeah, we're gonna cut the bars today and slap these on. I think I'm gonna go a little bit wider with these ones. I think I run about 740, which is pretty short. Most people are like, whoa, that's pretty short. Um, but I might go a little wider here. I might cut it at the, uh, if you guys can see here, cut it at the 20 mark. And that seems about right. I'm gonna kind of measure it off of the bars that I have on here now. These are the bars off my canyon that I had cut a long time ago. Yeah, there's that. I got a little uh, eject button there. That's gonna go on, that's also red. I might put it on the other bike because it might go better with that bike, I don't know. It's kind of throwing off my vibe a little bit on this bike, but uh, we'll see, we'll, we'll throw it on there. I'm really appreciative of all these gifts I get spoiled by my in-laws. They are really, really nice people and I don't know how they do it, but they always, they always hook me up and I really appreciate it. That being said, I got these as well. I got a bunch of Amazon gift cards Christmas and I spent them pretty much immediately. Um, so we got some tokens. This is the biggest thing that I wanna try out here. Fox tokens for the Fox DPS back here. Big reason I'm doing this is because I'm botting out. <laughs> wow, words are hard. I am botting out a lot on the trails. So yeah, don't wanna do that anymore. So we're gonna put some polling spaces in here. All right, simpler terms, I, I, you know, I don't really know a lot. Basically, you put a thicker volume reducer in there, you're reducing the volume of air in there, so it should, in theory, not bottom out a lot, right? So you should still have the same feel, the same plushness, but it won't bottom out as much, is what I'm hoping. So I think I'm just gonna go full big in this uh, and put the red one in here. I don't know what's what comes stock in there. I'm really not sure, I don't, I don't know. So red is a 0.95 inch and then there's orange. You know, should I go like full, full into it or should I go, you know, kind of all the way there? I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I don't know what's the best option, but I know that the bigger it is, the more volume you're reducing, right? So the decision here will be probably based on what's in there. We'll see what's in there. I probably wanna go red the way I ride, but we can always switch them out. It's not that hard of a process, so I'll show you. Let's go red. Let's just plan on doing that for now because we're doing, you know, everything's red, right? Red gloves, red red bars. So let's, let's go red. Yeah, without further ado, I don't know what I wanna do first. Let's do the bars first since we got it hanging up here. Why the P&W bars? Well, they have a nice sweep to them and then they have a 30 millimeter rise. So if you kind of look here, you can kind of see the difference in the bars already without them actually being on. So you got a nice better rise there. I like the way that feels on my Canyon. That's what I have on there. And I think I'm going to love them on this bike as well. So, oh, real quick, forgot to mention, I got this. So I highly recommend, I highly recommend that you get something to protect your bike, like these air tags. Uh, really nice things to have on your bike in case somebody swipes it. Uh, you can track it quickly and hopefully get it back in time. I don't know if I should show how this works, but basically it goes on the bike somewhere. Yeah, find a place to put an air tag or some kind of tracking device on your bike, protect your investment, it's real important. So yeah, all right, back to the bars. If you guys are looking for a decent toolkit, I got this one off of Amazon for a decent price. It is the Cyclist one. I will link it down below, but it has it has like everything that you'll need. So yeah, I'll link it down below for you guys so you can check it out. Basically, I don't even know if I need to show you guys this, but just just take your take everything apart and I'll show you how I cut the bars. Okay, that bar's off. So we're just gonna simply take everything off of here. 
Just unscrew everything and we'll readjust it later. Pretty simple, self-explanatory. You don't need to watch me do that. So here we go. Well, and just like that, just as I'm filming this video, another thing that I ordered from my Amazon gift card Christmas gifts <laughs> just arrived. It wasn't supposed to arrive for a little while, but it's here. So let's uh, check it out real quick. We got the gyro. Is it gyro? Gyro? Hero? Gyro? Gyro? How do you say it? Okay, anyways, but it's the Tyrant Mips. I got a small, even though I'm like, I'm like right there at the, I'm like 56, right? But I felt, I've tried on some smalls before and I feel like that actually fits me a little bit better. I wanted something, uh, I had the full face, which is really light. I have the IXS full face helmet. I'll show you here. Really light helmet, I uh, love it, but uh, hot Florida days and stuff like that, it's still a bit much. And I want some more airflow, but I still want some decent protection. This is the first helmet that I ever bought here, which is a Bell 40. Good helmet, doesn't match anything that I ride anymore. It matched my first bike that I ever had. So yeah, and I don't know, it's not the greatest protection either, but it's it's good. It's got MIPS. Cheap helmet if you're looking for something affordable. So I got the um, matte, matte metallic black coal discontinued. For what reason, I don't know. Maybe nobody bought it. I think maybe because there's brown interior on it, but here it is. It's a nice helmet. I don't know why people don't like this one. Here goes nothing. Ooh, I don't know. It feels weird. It feels different. What do you guys think? It's a pretty cool helmet. Should I do the rotation for you? There you go. Here you go, here you go. It almost feels too small. What do you guys think? Is it a win? Back to business. Here we are. That's how much end we cut off last time. Uh, pretty much all the way. So I think I'm going to do the 20, like I said, give us just a little bit more width on this bike. I feel like the shorter travel bike, I kind of want a little bit more width on it. I don't know why, I just do. Still don't know how I feel about the red, but it's kind of cool. So we want to stabilize the front wheel. So I have I have some sandbags here that I used to work out. That's pretty decent. Let me show you how we do this here. Okay, so I feel like most people might have this kind of saw around. Right? It's like a little metal, metal saw and some painter's tape. This is how I always do it. It's not the cleanest process. I and mean, you also want a little bit of sandpaper to kind of smooth it out a little bit. But most of the time your grips are there. They're not, you're not gonna see this part. It's not gonna be exposed. So it's really not a big deal. But if you wanna get a proper tool, I could probably like down below one of those for you and it'll cut it really clean. Uh, I need to get one of those, but this is what I got. So we're gonna use what I got. So what I do, is just find my mark. If you don't have indicators on your bars, you don't have to measure it yourself, but I'm gonna put that right on the 20 mark. I'm gonna go on this side, don't go on the other side. All right, so we got that taped off, kind of protect that a little bit. Give us a little more of an edge guideline there. And I'm gonna slowly start to dig in here. Nice and slow to start and try to get it as straight as possible. Once we get that really good groove going there, then you can start going a little bit faster. And there you go. So we'll file that down. Okay, we should have done this in the first place, but this is my little wheelie machine that I made. I keep it a little bit more stable than using sandbags, so. Let's just uh, put everything back together and see what it looks like when we're done. Yeah, that seems to be pretty good right there. Sweet, on to the rear shock. Let's do the rear shock. All right, so here we are with the DPS back here. Super straightforward, really. We're gonna let all the air out of it and unscrew this right here. And our token should be right in here. And yeah, let's just do it. Okay, so it looks like we're just above 150, around 160 PSI. What's cool is you never even have to take the shock off of the, of the bike, but you definitely wanna make sure that you let the air out first. If you have your shock sitting closer to frame to where it'll hit if it comes off. The only thing it's gonna hit is down here. So if it does like pop off down here, I'm not worried about it. But if you do, put a rag around that area if you wanna protect it. Ooh, some oil came out of there. Okay, now this should come off. Just unscrew it and the oil should stay, hopefully, in the bottom there. And there's a yellow one in here. I don't know if that's stock. If you guys know, let me know. So as you can see, there's a yellow one inside there. And I think we're gonna go orange or red. I think I'm gonna go full on red since that's yellow and that's kind of like a medium. And that way we, have, we can use as less as possible and hopefully not bottom out at all. But we're gonna move this little washer here. I'm gonna remove it. We're just gonna slide it down out of the way. Don't wanna damage those threads in there. So just kind of ease on it. There we go. You wanna get that metal piece separated. Nope, oh, and there you go. So it goes this way, right? Just as the other one came out. So just pop on there like that. Oh, there you go. 
snapped in there really good. So we'll slide that piece back in there. Slide that washer up and there we go. <clears throat> I just want that in there good and it looks right because everything, the logos, everything right in place. Okay, I don't even know why this is. Let's get, oh, get this out of the way. Is it higher? Can you run higher PSI? No, you should be able to low, lower PSI if you have volume reducer in there. That'll make sense. I don't know, guys. I really don't know what the hell I'm talking about. 160, around well, like where we were before. Let's see. And sit. Okay, that felt better. Felt like it's right where I want it to be. It sure is, it's on the money. And that's it for the upgrades to the Ripley. So yeah, uh, I'll see you on the trail like right now. Let's go. <laughs> All right, it's uh, me and the little one today. And then we're out here, we got the bars on. We got the bright new gloves. Stop, Dad, stop. What's up? I think you should go first on that. You wanna go first on that? Yeah. Okay, here we go. So look, lean the bar, keep your body up. All right. Yeah, lean the bike. You got to stand up. No, I'm not, I can't. Lean the bike. You can. Whee! Nice. So one of the biggest things we're going to try to test today is this uh, token, the reduced airspace, the uh, word I can't find right now. Um, but yeah, the rear shock, make sure we don't bottom out and we're still getting that nice plush feel. But it's a fun little trail system. And Ripley is just so much fun. I'm really liking these new gloves, these new Fox gloves. I can't remember which model they exactly are. I used the range before, but I like how these don't have any straps. I didn't stretch. That's probably a bad idea, wasn't it? You want me to go? No, I'll go first. Okay, just pedal. When I see like something that, that, that I, don't, I don't feel like to do, yeah. then I'll let you go first so I can do it. Okay. So I can see what you do. Okay, but also just make sure you pedal and you just look ahead where you want to go. Okay. Not in front of you, ahead. I don't know, what do you guys think about the red accent on the uh, P&W bars there? Are we digging it? I mean, obviously it matches the gloves. What, do you have what? A camera? Yeah, I know, we need to get another one for you. I wonder if I can shrink that chest mount down so you could wear it. Or maybe put it on your helmet. That'll figure something out. Oh, God. oh you just gotta pedal up it. Yeah, we don't have a gear bike, which I know it stinks, but you're also full of energy, so. Yeah, there's a lot of fruits. You know what kind of fruit that is? No. Grapefruit. Right? No. There's a hint of what trail we're at, huh? Okay. Want me to ride it? Yeah, and then you come back. Here we go, watch out. Oh! <laughs> All right. All right, go ahead. Go, go, go. Woo! Hey. <laughs> well, this is new. Oh, nice. This is all new. Yeah. <laughs> you ready yet? Yes. Um, both lead <laughs> to the end of whale tail, and then there's a whole little drop off they made that goes off towards the moat side. And then okay. They have to go around where, after um, shoreline, that entrance, you just that's where you come back. Okay. So it's got its own area. I usually stop at the end and then just either come back around so I don't have to go the whole way. Sweet. Um, but these, these two are like nice progression trails. They added them so people can get used to those. Yeah, I like that. That's sweet. Yeah, this is a pretty good add on. Yeah, yeah, this, this whole area is really nice. <laughs> I like yeah, the one. Got steeper benches, and that one's a bit the middle one? Steeper. The middle one? <laughs> Alright. Steeper! <laughs> oh! Gotta get warmed up. Have you ridden it today? No, no, it's no. all uh, roped off at the end, so it makes you loop back. Oh, okay, there is. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, go ahead. How old is she? Five. Oh, nice. I got a two-year-old. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait. I'm working. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm working hard on trying to build her confidence. Oh, almost. Nice job. That's all right. Yeah, because there's a lot of confidence building for some. Yeah. Guys, yeah. Like, especially when you're young. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm a little scared. I was like, it's okay to be scared. Yep. I get scared too. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. I'm all scared all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How many mental, mental things pushes, I had to go through? Yeah. You know, adrenaline that's pushes it. you through it. My yeah. thing is, I can't afford to break a limb. Yeah, and none so of us. Coming out here. None of us can. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Try this one again, a little more smooth. Yeah. Being stubborn. Yeah. Woo! 
You want me to do it? Yeah. That'd be a good way to test that rear suspension out. Okay. See how tall? Look at that. You're as tall as it. Here. Yeah. 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 Well, that's okay, Dad. All right. You want me to do it? Go ahead. Stand right here. Oh, that felt sketch. Didn't feel fast enough. Dad, are you okay? Yep. Go, keep going. Keep going, yeah. I need a little more speed, baby. Yeah. But, well, guess what? What? The rear shock didn't bottom out. Right. So we're winning. Bottom out? It didn't. It didn't? So that token that we put in there, it seems to be working really well. Cause that was a big drop. Confident, look at the third jump, go. Yeah, girl. Stand up. Stand up. I think she's leaving me. All right. <laughs> Maybe you're like me or not, but I see this and I think hop over. Let's try that. <laughs> yeah. That was fun. Man, I love how playful this bike is. That felt like a bottom out because it's kind of short. Yeah. This place is just so much fun. She wants to try this. It makes me very proud for your bravery here, girl. Come on. This one's very important that you have to look straight ahead, okay? Why? Because you don't want to look down. It makes you fall. Oh, God. I'm not doing this. Yeah, you are. You're going to look straight ahead? I'm, I'm right next to you the whole time. Uh, can okay. You yep. I got you. I'm right here. I got the back of your bike, too. You got it. Yeah. Now we can go snack. Yeah, so we can go snack now. <laughs> You're all right. Oh. All right, so flat. And we're not, we're like right there. But we did not bottom out. And that was. Yeah, that was basically too flat. Sick. I lost my mojo. <laughs> oh! Ah, oh, man. That's called casing right there. Why can't I get out? I couldn't keep the speed. Try again, Daddy. If you okay. keep falling, keep trying, trying, trying. That's right, baby. That's right. Ow, that Let's get out of the way here. Deep. Let's Dad. hope Daddy didn't break his bike either. That was a serious case right there. Dad, come on. Ooh. Try one more Ooh, time. I ain't the first person to do it. Try one more time, Dad. Okay. I, I think what happened is, is I overshot this one and I really lost that speed. You want me to do it again? If, yes, do it again because if you fall again, then you get back up and try again. Dang. Don't fall down. Don't I'm using my up. own advice against me, huh? Don't give up. Keep going. It's All right. a rule. All right. I'll try it again. Whoa, ah, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Oh, it sketched me out. Keep your eyes on the prize. I mean, that did feel good, but dang. Oh, jump, jump, slide. Keep going. Pick up the speed. Do this. Zoop, 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 zoop. And then come on. You know that you can do this. All right, one more time. Nux, stay here. Do it one more time. Don't move from wait, the wait. spot. I have a promise. What? If you do it one more time, can we go to the car? <laughs> yeah, I'll finish it up with this. How about that? Yeah! Yeah, <laughs> that was rough. Oh yeah. My daughter's confidence in me right there. Sick. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. The main thing coming out here was testing out these bars, which right off the bat, fantastic bars. I've always loved these bars I have in the canyon. They make a huge difference for me, more comfortable. And I feel like I can pull the bike up a lot easier and more controlled, that makes sense. I do roll my bars a little more forward part than most people do. I've had people comment on that before, but that's how I like them. 
that's my preference. Ride your bars how you want to ride your bars. Second thing we were testing out today is the uh, the rear shock, putting that token in. And I will say, we'll hop off the bike right now. We never bottomed out. We came very, very, very close. I never touched the ring the whole time, and we never bottomed out. That's a win in my book. The red token was the way to go. Also, I don't really notice a, a big change in the rear shock. So yeah, I mean, you know, I still get that that good poppy feel out of this bike. Honestly, it probably feels a little more poppy. I don't know if that's just the handlebars really, but the big thing here was avoiding bottoming out, and I think that was a huge win. So if you have an issue, go get yourself some tokens. Link them down below in the description. Those links help me out, so I appreciate it. And as always, thanks for riding with me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. See you next time, guys.